So I convinced Zeb to take a break from plumbing and electrical in the addition and frame out this front door because I really want to get this corner finished so that way I can put up our Christmas tree. Which has been in the basement for a while, just hanging out, collecting dust. It probably won't get like decorated right away, but I'm going to get the Christmas tree up because that'll make me feel better. Well, and we have warm weather for this week and then it gets like wintry for the rest of the year. So we got to get all these doors closed up. Yep. All right, we've got all the gaps foamed up and sprayed and sealed and good to go on that. I'm going to trim this out to match those other windows and things that we've been doing in the house. So I would like to say that it's the same width up here as it is right here and down in the bottom, but it's not. So right there I have four and three eighths. Here in the middle I'm at four and three quarters. And down on the bottom here, I'm at five inches. So I'm going to have to cut a special board that makes that run and then we'll put trim over the front. I've got this cut to size right here. Just need to make sure that the bottom is tight. And then if there's any little gap, we can just run a bead of caulk along this inside here. That's a lot of caulk. It's not that much. <laughs> All right, so that needs to be more like- I would put this out. more flush with the front because it had a little wiggle. Board might not have been straight, a hundred various things. Well, the wall's not straight. Let's the wall's for sure not straight. All so. right, so where do you want me to start stapling it? All right, so just put a couple in there to start okay. into the two by four. All right, and then just work your way down on the little cup next side. Okay, how far apart? Uh, I would do them about every eight inches is fine. It's just trim. It's not structural or anything. Flush over here? Um, let's do flush over here. a gap so it's just easier to do it with a caulking gun. I used putty on the other side because it was quarter inch to third inch thick. Well the other side had a little bit of a wonder. Some parts were like an eighth of an inch, some parts were less, some parts were a quarter of an inch. It was irregular. This is pretty normal over here. This caulking gun is not awesome. It's not my good one. Where's the other one that lets the pressure off? Now we're just doing the outside trim here, flush with that inner face. This MDF trim has a little bit of a wiggle, so if your wall or your door is not quite straight, kind of move it around just a little bit, not a ton. We call that flex. <laughs> Is that about three quarters of an inch overhang over there? Yes, it is. How okay. over there? Yeah, I'm good. Go ahead and nail it through the top, just two. I think it's because 
Yeah, it's got a little bit of a weeble wobble going. Oh, you need to go back further on your side. Yeah, that's, that'd be nice if I could. <laughs> it's flush up against the ship out there. Oh. So when we put the trim on, we'll have to just push it in. Okay. Because it's flexible enough, it's just a thin piece of that MDF that's down. That is all trimmed out now. It needs caulk in a few places, and Jamie's gonna paint the door black. Are you just painting the center of the door, or are you gonna paint the, around the windows it's too? It's already black, but you need to put the floorboards on. Oh, yeah. I fed him and watered him as soon as I got here this morning. Thank you. Oh, this is not my best work. <laughs> Here, you hold that. Here, just wipe it back real quick. Okay. It'll be fine. Well, oh, see? That looks fine. This used to have like some weird quarter round around it. We're not using that, so I'm kind of filling in where that used to be. All right, so that's all the uh, gunk that I sanded off the door and swept. Don't mind my dirty floor, it needs to be mopped. We haven't mopped it since we finished it. But the door's ready for paint. I had to get off all the chippy. I'm just gonna paint the door and then I'll decide if I'm gonna paint the windows black too. Also, I have to wait. This putty in here wasn't quite dry, so now I gotta re-putty that and sand that in the morning because that was a lot of putty against the trim there. Jamie is doing some putty work and some caulking and then she has decided that she is going to paint around the windows because she thinks it just looks weird with just the black. But we got to let this dry because we took the quarter round out and just filling in the gaps with some lightweight spackling. I am at the end of the road for plumbing tonight. I need three T's for my PEX pipe and one two inch coupling to wrap up the rough in, and then we've gotta just put the lines in for the fixtures, and then we'll be done with the just, plumbing. Just that. Oh, and I forgot to run the lines to the drinking fountain. That's really important, actually. Yeah, we gotta get that done. Always with the late night tours of the things. It's cause it's six o'clock in the evening. We're still working and it got dark. Oh, I've got to go get more of these metal plates, too. You put those anywhere you could potentially run a nail through into your water line. Got a couple down here. Need to hit those a little harder, get them flush, but... Are you just going for that? Yeah, I'm going to take the white off, like, in a few days. I'll come back when the black's really dry. Oh. It'll be all right. I'm not not scared at all. A little razor blade, tape. I'll be okay. I'm painting the the hinges because they have like 452 coats of paint on them. So I'm just adding one more. The door has been painted at least eight times, what I can tell. <laughs> I'm gonna get close to the floor, but not all the way. And then I'll tape off the floor and do a nice crisp line when I have tape. This is a king of Christmas tree that we got last year from them. I think it's gonna fit in this corner real nice. 
We do still have some corn around to put in the corner and paint and things like that, but the Christmas tree's going in. Christmas tree's going in, and tomorrow I'm moving it out and I'll finish the corner. Let's see if I can remember how to build this. I remember it was fairly straightforward. It had a lot of snow last year, like a lot extra. I feel like... And now it's just like... I feel like this year is just like regular snow, you know, just like the light dusting. Oh, bonus. Surprise ornament that's not an ornament. The toy? <laughs> yeah, it's like a toy. Jack probably stuck it in a tree last year. This tree is so awesome. You don't have to even plug anything in. There's like little sockets in the bottom of these poles. You slide it in, it's like a battery. It just connects up and all the lights work. Oh, look at this conveniently placed plug. Oh, I wonder who did that. My electrician? Yeah. I should give him a tip. He would appreciate a tip. All right, now to fluff. My favorite part. That sarcasm I hear. That was some sarcasm. This tree's pretty easy to fluff though. Like I'm basically just having to straighten out a few of these that are bent from storage. Although I don't take too much time fluffing it because no matter how long I take fluffing it, Jamie will always come in. And once the decorations start going on, she refluffs. Just rearrange. She's like, well, we need, we need a limb here and a branch over here. It's a hole in the pine needles over here. It looks good when she's done. Jamie's having a moment of sadness. The galvanized tree skirt tub was too small. I think it's just because that base is excessively big. The base on this tree was large. It's, it's a decent sized tree. So this is, Eight this is a seven foot tree. That might be eight. No, no, I'm gonna go with seven. Because my yeah, reach is higher. The top of the trim up there is eight foot. It's like seven and a half feet. That's all right. We have the kids tree is smaller and it will definitely work for that. Yeah, we do have another tree. We'll use that. Probably put it over in the dining room corner. Who knows? Uh, it goes in the kids playroom. They can decorate it how they want. I'm good. I let the kids decorate the tree how they want in the playroom, the way Santa intended it. <laughs> Put a tree in the formal room, kid tree in the playroom. All right, so we made a decision, black door and black windows. It needs an extra coat of paint. We'll let that dry, I'll touch it up, get the trim all done, and Zeb got the Christmas tree up. Yeah, well, you know, had to do it. Is it weird that we put the Christmas tree up on November 2nd? No, it's not. It's 2020, you can do what you want. I saw Liz Marie had her Christmas tree up, so I'm just trying to be cool like her. We're just doing it. All right, make sure you guys are hitting up jamierayvintage.com for the paint and products that we use, jamierayvintagehome.com for the clothing and home decor. Both those websites support our channel. Be sure to give us a thumbs up and subscribe to Jamie Ray Vintage for more DIY.